you're on this uh tiny youtubers channel every friday like super <laughs> mega tiny tiny youtube uh called uh nerdrotic with uh, gary beekler and um, i never heard of him know, yeah yeah it's, <laughs> it's just i heard he's a he's a felon i'm like he went to jail i'm not sure if that's true but um i want to see um i ask you uh, how did you meet him and and how did you uh become a part of fnt um i met gary uh through i love comics so both gary and i you know sub not only sub to uh anglatine's channel uh i i was you know on anglatine's channel quite a bit and he he oddly enough pinged me on my birthday and i was having the world's shittiest day uh you know just like things were going on at work that were just like not good uh, my boss sucked uh, i was kind of put in a not so good position uh by her and there were some other things that happened which you know were my decisions um really did something completely different before all this shit went down and uh it was my birthday i didn't tell anyone mainly because I, I just want to be left alone because <laughs> i was having such a garbage <laughs> week you know i'm far from home I'm, I'm at our corporate headquarters there's this shit going on um my boss forces me to fire one of my employees for no fucking good reason other than oh, wow. the fact that she didn't like him and i'm like i'm screwed when i get home I'm, I'm, it's like i'm so fucking fired and uh gary hits me up he's like hey man it's like uh it's like i love your stuff and we just start talking and uh it's just like it really made my day feel a lot better <laughs> so yeah we start talking and uh, he, he um he would show up on my channel and we would stream every thursday talking about stuff that was going on in the comic book industry with a another YouTuber is not really around anymore. Um, God, I'm just totally blanking on her name. A feisty fan. That was her name. She was okay. a manager of a comic shop in California. And so we would talk about the health of the industry and what was going on uh, from, you know, people who worked in the industry. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was on a show a couple of times uh, with his old host and yeah, we'd hang out and do stuff and talk and it was a lot of good times. And then I'm trying to remember when I became a regular, was it 2018? I think it's when all that happened. So it started off with uh, me and Gary and uh, Odin was a guest a couple times. And we just talked about what was going on in entertainment. And you know, mm -hmm. the funny thing is like Gary initially did want to talk about what was going on, you know, the identity politics stuff, right? He wanted to keep it positive and, you know, talking about TV shows and what was going on. And, you know, you kind of left, you know, a lot of the criticism to me. And then they started fucking with uh, Doctor Who, and it was all over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jody Whitaker. It's like, yeah. oh, I've. It's like, I think, wait, isn't a Doctor Romantic? Well, I, you know, I've got an upgrade. I've got like, an upgrade. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh no, dude. Was, when I no. saw that, I'm like, I, I'm not watching it. And then the place when I was working, um, uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, the, I work in tech and video games, and one of the one of the girls says she she she's super nice to me, but like I know she's extremely woke just based off how she looks like. And uh, for Halloween, she came, uh, she came in as a doctor, and then she was holding, you know, the sonic screwdriver. And I was like, "Oh, um, are you, are, are you, you Doctor Who, right?" And she's like, "I'm the best Doctor Who, like best of in rendition of Doctor Who." I'm like, <clears throat> "Okay, uh, David, it's not David Tennant. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, at least, at least for Tennant. me, right?" Yeah, I was like, uh, it's, it's like you're not you're not wearing the the, the proper trench coat, and then I'm like, uh, that looks odd. And it's like, oh, the new Doctor Who is so good. It's so good. It's about time a female took over Doctor Who. I'm like, all right. Uh, it's like saying heard... it's about time a female took over Magnum PI. It's, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, and then I and the, the part that like okay, I stopped watching. Okay, I, I never got to Capaldi. I stopped watching in like almost the end of Matt Smith, and like I, I, I like during that time I was like I got I, I got started a new job and then I didn't get to uh, finish my Doctor Who, but. I was like, oh, maybe it's worth for me to at least get to Capaldi, like finish it, and then like maybe check out Whitaker. Maybe she's not as bad. And then I I heard you guys talking about uh, on FNT about how they changed her actual like canonical story that she's a black little girl. I'm yeah. like, yep, uh, it, yeah, I'm not watching this bullshit. <laughs> well, th there's like a lot of things because even under Capaldi, it started getting woke, right? Um, and I, I I dipped out right around the time Matt Smith took over. Because for me, okay. you know, David Tennant was my doctor. I love David Tennant, and I, and I had a hard time, you know, switching over to another character. Right? Um, I know the same character, but different actor. 
And I mean, I, I watched some of it uh, and, and Matt Smith started growing on me, but he didn't resonate with me as much as David Tennant's doctor did. Yep. Um, and so Capaldi, I thought, okay, this is kind of cool. Um, you know, I, I, you know, kind of good, got a good vibe. And I guess like the first couple of seasons were good, but the start going after downhill after that. And, and some of the episodes I watched with my wife, you know, seemed pretty decent. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I, um, I ducked out when I did. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, awesome, I, I'm not like, I'm not like Gary who just like <laughs> owns everything. I mean, yeah, that, that spat he got into with, um, Rachel Leshman from the Mary Sue was funny. It's like, I've been to Gary's house. I, I mean, I I've seen all of his doctor who stuff, you know, it's, it's right there. You know, you know it's not like he would without showed me. Cause it's, I mean, it's on the shelves, you know, he's got the figures everywhere. Um, you can say that he never watched the episode of doctor who his life is fucking retarded. <laughs> It's like, yeah, but you're out class. <laughs> it's like, have you like just have you not even seen his room? Like, you don't even need to watch this stuff. Just look at his room. Yeah, and yeah. look at all this the the the, act, the toys and action figures and the, the models and all in the background. Like, you you know this guy is a big fan, and um, it's funny is because um, I when we had Jay on, he was talking about how uh, when he was back in San Diego, he's he was like uh he went over to uh, Gary's place and he saw like a really cool I think statue of like Indy or something like that, and he was like. He's like, oh, this is so cool. It's like, oh, oh I love this. And Gary's like, yeah, I know it's cool. Put it down, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.